Hello, today we're going to be talking about the method of sections. Uh, so the method of sections is a process that we can use to solve for the forces acting on individual members uh, that are part of a truss structure. Uh, again, a truss structure is a type of engineering structure where all of the members in the structure are two force members. Uh, so part of this assumption, all the external forces acting on the truss itself must be acting on joints in the truss. They can't act in the middle of the member. Uh, so some examples of a truss, or an example of a truss, uh, is a bridge like this. Uh, a lot of uh, kind of buildings, bridges, trusses, or structures are trusses like this. Uh, and we've got connections at either end uh, of each member, and there's no kind of connections in the middle there. Uh, so this would be an example of a truss structure uh, that we can analyze using the method of section. So each member, again, is a two-force member. Uh, which means that if I've only got two connection points where forces are exerted, they have to be uh, equal, opposite, and collinear. They have to be in compression, two forces pressing towards the center like that, or the members have to be in tension, two forces pointing out uh, like that bottom picture there. So <clears throat> how do we go about using the method of sections? Uh, it works on the following assumptions. Uh, the first is the structure we're going to be analyzing is in static equilibrium. Uh, hopefully our bridges, our buildings, those are going to be sitting still, so they're going to be in equilibrium. Uh, the second is, uh, kind of follows from the first, if the structure as a whole uh, is in equilibrium, uh, and if we cut this into sections, you know, the top half of our building would be in equilibrium, and the bottom half of our building would also be in equilibrium. Uh, so we can kind of cut this up and look at different parts of it, uh, and that is what we're going to use in the method of sections. Uh, and when we cut through a member, uh, so as we've got the top half of a building and the bottom half of our building, there's members that are connecting those two pieces. If we cut through that, we're going to kind of expose uh, internal forces uh, in that particular member. Uh, so that will let us figure out those forces using the uh, equil equilibrium equations. So how do we use the method? Step one, we're going to assign letters to all the joints to identify the members uh, and the jo joints they connect. Um, so here I've got joint A, joint B, joint C. So each joint has a letter, and the members are uh, labeled by the two joints they connect. So member A, B would connect joint A, and joint B, etc. Uh, this is kind of the standard method for labeling uh, joints and members in trusses. So after that, we're going to treat the whole truss as a rigid body and solve for the external reaction forces. Uh, so on either end of this truss, I've got a pin joint supporting it over here at this end, and I've got a roller joint over here at this end. Um, and if I go ahead and eliminate the background, treat this whole thing as a single body, I draw in the reaction forces, and now I've got my free body diagram. Uh, and just like I had for a single body equilibrium, um, I can write out the equilibrium equations, sum of forces in the x, sum of forces in the y, and sum of moments. And then I can solve those equations for the unknown reaction forces. I can find FAX, FAY, and FFY over on that end. So once I have figured those out and I've kind of drawn in those values here, uh, step three is I'm going to imagine cutting this into two sections. Uh, so I'm going to split the whole bridge in half. Uh, and I want to cut through members. I don't want to cut through any joints. Uh, so I can cut right down here to, to the center, but I couldn't do something that just goes right through joint B. Uh, the joint needs to be on one side of the cut or the other. I also want to try not to cut more than three members. Uh, when I do a single cut, that should give me about three equations, or that will give me three equations to solve for. Uh, and with three equations, I can solve for up to three unknowns. So if I have more than three members, I'm going to have more than three unknowns. So. <clears throat> Say I want to figure out, this with this cut, you can also target the member you want to look at. So say I want to figure out the forces of member CE, I would want to cut through member CE. And so this right down the center is going to cut through uh, no joints. It's going to cut through no more than three members. I've got one, two, three, it's cutting through. And I'm cutting through the one member I really want to look at here. Uh, so that would be a good way to look at this. Next step is I'm going to pick one half of the truss or the other. Uh, whichever makes your life easier is going to be the, the better half. Uh, and I'm going to draw in 
the exposed internal forces. And so these forces are going to be the forces, the tension or compression forces in each of the members, and they're going to be acting along the direction of that member. So force BD is the force in member BD, the tension or compression, uh, and it's going to be going in the direction from point B over to point D over here. Uh, same with BE and same with CE. So you can use the geometry of the truss itself to figure out the placement and the direction of the forces. So I'm going to assume tension, which means that I'm assuming uh, the forces kind of go, continue on in the direction uh, that the member was going on the other side of the cut. Uh, if I assume incorrectly, if it's actually in compression, I'm going to get a negative number uh, to let me know that I've uh, got compression rather than tension. So step five, once I have this free body diagram, now I've got a free body diagram of kind of half the truss, I can write out the equilibrium equations for this particular section. So this is going to be sum of forces in the x, sum of forces in the y, and the moment's about some point. So I might do point B, because I've got two forces that kind of go through that point. Um, <clears throat> so, and I've got these three equations. I can solve for up to three unknowns. Uh, and my last step is to solve these equations. Uh, if it's a little bit daunting, uh, if you've got a co more complex truss, uh, you might want to use matrix equations uh, just to make it your life a little bit easier uh, in solving. Uh, but once you solve the equations, you can get these three unknowns. You can repeat method of sections again um, if you have more members to look at. Uh, otherwise, you're kind of done with the method. So with that, that's all I have for method of sections. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.